because Josh back. Guess where Teddy and I are today? It's someplace special. It's someplace that you all like to go. It's someplace where we can sit and we can climb. Like Teddy was thinking he might want to just sit up here. Where do we have a tree that you can climb like that that you all know? <gasps> Are you starting to figure out this tree? Take a look at it from further away. Remember that tree? I knew you would. This is where Teddy and I came today, right outside of the cafeteria, so that we could remember this very cool tree to sit upon and climb upon. And from here, Teddy and I are gonna talk to you about day 26. Wow, day 26. All right, you have a new Bible story. It's Queen Esther. Queen Esther is amazing that God has big plans for you, just like he did for Queen Esther. In fact, she wondered one time, maybe what's going on? Maybe I was created just for a time such as this. I know I think about that Bible verse. Maybe God created me for such a time as making videos for my first days. Maybe, maybe God created you for such a time as now to be learning at home and sharing this Bible story on Queen Esther with the people in your family. Okay, you're going to do more review of reading words and more review of compound words, two words together. Let's try it. Look at this one, which I told you is gonna be my theme for next school year. Camp, ground, campground. Good job. Dug out, dug out. Good job. Foot, ball, football. Keep going. Air, plane, airplane. And finally on the top row, ear, drum eardrum good job the rest of the work is pretty much what you're used to reviewing clocks adding and subtracting numbers to 20 and 30 do them all and then two digit numbers it is so important to be able to add those two digit numbers that they give it to you every day in math so you're ready for second grade. In your story, you're going to learn about digging for fossils and you're going to find words that you can divide into two syllables. And then you need to write on the, on the same day, you do the second part, why is a fossil like a snapshot or a photo of the past. Can you answer that? I'm sure you can. And then finally you get your cool word booklet with your spelling words. Today, only trace them and color them. If you want to cut it out, you can, but you don't have to. And then tomorrow you write the OI words or the OY words are in between these different spaces or on the back. Whatever you like, it's up to you. All right, let's see if I can find my Bible verse of the day. Here it is. And the Bible verse of the day is from 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 56. It said, Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel. That means believers. He's given rest to believers according to all that he promised. He promised to give us breaks and rest, and he's doing it. Not one word has failed all his good promises, which he promised through Moses, his servant. Remember learning about Moses? Yes, you do. And um, God made promises to Moses, 
and to God's people, that he will always watch out for them. So even though we're learning at home during these COVID virus times, God has promised to be with us and he is keeping that promise. He is with us. Okay, we are going to close with our prayer. Dear God, thank you for keeping your promises to Moses and those believers long ago. And thank you for keeping your promise to us to all of the firsties who are watching this video, all of the firsties at home working hard, thank you for keeping your promise. You kept our your biggest promise and took away our biggest problem, our sins. You washed them away. We don't have to do anything good to get them away. We don't have to do any special jobs or ceremonies or, or anything crazy to get our sins away. No way! You did that already. All we do is say thank you by following your commandments. Thank you by obeying and doing what you've told us in the Bible. And thank you for keeping your promises, the little ones, like taking care of us, and the big ones, like taking away our sins. In your name we pray. Bless our learning today. Amen. All right. Bye-bye. Teddy is saying bye-bye, firsties. I wonder where we'll come to you for day 27. <gasps> it's a surprise. Remember, God loves you and Mrs. Dietrich loves you too.